temperature. If we find evidence of a new form of DNA on Mars, it, it could change our sense of who we are in, in this universe. So Mars is kind of the Goldilocks planets. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's just right. If it was too big, it would have retained a lot of activity and erased all the, the evidence that we're looking for. If it was too small, it never would have undergone the same processes that formed the Earth. And Getting the strongest evidence yet that there may be or have been life on Mars. A team studying this huge crater, known as the McLaughlin Crater, claimed that the rocks prove that the red planet may have supported life at some point. So this is a game changer. Why not look underground on Earth? Perhaps half of life on the Earth is under your feet. This is, uh, we could That's have been barking up Say the wrong again, tree. interesting. Because when you said that to me, it really struck me. Half of life on Earth. Could be it's not life. us walking around, driving our cars. It's, it's what's going on below there. Think of fungus, spores, lichens, bacteria, algae that exist under your, under your feet, even in deserts and harsh, harsh regions. But on Mars, uh, because the surface is bleached, we think that meteor craters perhaps rupture the surface of Mars, and then perhaps this clay and carbonate material, which is compatible with life, was then thrown into the space, creating a crater. So why not focus on craters? This is a game changer now. We're beginning to re-shift our focus now to the Mars that exists under the surface.